Good morning, Reapers. I'm Daniel from Cora Lesson. Today is Mistake Monday, and there's something important I want to talk to you guys about today, and that's backflow and siphoning. Some of you who have recently set up your aquarium, and maybe you're new to the hobby, and you don't really know too much about setting up a sump, and sometimes when you have a sump and you overflow, your power shuts off or something, your return pump cuts out, the water can backflow or siphon into your sump and overflow it. So you have to be careful about those water levels, and I always recommend that people put in some kind of stop, some kind of flapper, or something in your drain return line just to keep it from your water level dropping at all when your power goes out or your pump shuts off. Also, another thing that's crazy is some people I've seen where they have auto top off systems where they have a pump and they have a hose that goes up and wraps around into their sump or maybe goes into their tank or, or wherever they decide to put it. Their um, auto top off tank may be a little higher and their return, their sump's a little bit lower. And anyway, what happens is when the power shuts off from that pump, the pump doesn't stop pumping because it's still filled with water and the water creates a vacuum and a suction just due to gravity. So that's something you have to worry about, especially if you're away and you've never used your auto top off system before or you've never had the power go out before. So these things do happen. I just heard a story this weekend about someone flooding their tank and I felt really bad because I'm like, man, that happens to a lot of people. So I wanna make sure that I can warn you guys ahead of time and probably help you fix that before you have a flood, especially if you have hardwood floors or you know, anywhere your, your tank is in your kitchen or your living room or somewhere where you do not wanna get wet. So that's why we also put drip trays under our stands for our sumps just because you never know what's going to happen. Your skimmers bubble over and I try to keep all my water in the tank at all times. I don't like salt creep, I don't like splashing, I don't like any water outside my tank. Salt's very corrosive and it's something that you want to keep an eye on and wash it, uh, wash it off if you start to notice it. Uh, vinegar also helps keep it clean. Wiping the rim of your tank with vinegar will help eliminate some of that salt creep. Also having higher magnesium levels will help keep the calcium from precipitating out of the water. So those are other great things. But as I stay on topic, check your flow, check your piping for your auto top off, especially if you're new and you just set up your system. I actually had to pierce a hole in the top of mine just to keep it from backflowing and siphoning into my tank because I had the hose so close to the water level and when the power would go off, those things would overflow and then when the pump would come back on, the water would pump out and then it would be drained and the auto top on would kick off and all this stuff. So just be aware, check your system, especially when it's new, test it out, turn your pump off, make sure that nothing backflows and your sump doesn't overflow. So just something to be aware of, look out for. Um, as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Feel free to share this video with a reefing buddy. And as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Until next time.